So, I mean, the opportunity to do an official showcase felt like, you know, a real level up for me because it's something I've been trying to do for a number of years. So I was like humbled at that chance, you know, and I, I just dove into music full time uh, a few months ago. So it felt like more validation for that and that decision that we pushed. We got here and we made it happen. But it's it's kind of overwhelming. There's so much going on and you try to catch everything. And the amount of talent on display really makes you aware of how many great artists there are out there that you don't even know about that are like wildly talented. You look into them and you're amazed that maybe they only have a couple thousand followers or people don't know and it, it, it's it's really cool and it's really humbling and it reminds you, you, you gotta be great and you gotta keep pushing it, keep up with people like that. Uh, it's great networking. You know, you get to meet a lot of people, artists and press alike. Um, and it's, it's brilliant, it's a brilliant week and, and it's a great time, so I had a blast. So I would, I would categorize it as um, very dense, heady, cerebral uh, hip hop. Uh, hip hop that you have to listen to 10, 15, 20 times before you pick up everything. I'm trying to evolve as an artist and, and give, because there's something prolific about something simple that, that means a lot too. So I'm trying to mix in something that's simple and prolific with something that may take you a while to catch. Uh, I mix up, you know, I used to uh, teach English for a living in Baltimore and prior to that I was a literature major and got a grad degree in literature so I'm you know I'm, I pride myself on being a writer's writer so I like to use lots of different literary devices poetic devices and techniques and make my material really really special in that regard oh yeah yeah uh shoo i when i was just talking to you about making things simple but profound and still being technically really strong i think jay-z is the best example because he's not only like the most successful rapper ever but he was his wordplay and, and his ability to craft a song and tell a story is like second to none in my opinion and he was doing things in 1996 that were, will still stand up technically today so he's like my favorite ever he's high up there uh, obviously Eminem, uh, other lyricists like uh, Lupe Fiasco, uh, lyricists like Most Def that use their voice in a really cool way. Um, they, they opened doors for me. The first hip hop album I had was the Fugees, uh, the score. So when I heard just luring on like a hook and killing me softly and like, that was beautiful to me. And then I heard Ready, Ready or Not and Fuji La and it was just like bars, but melodic and like, this wild production style and the instrumentation, it just taught me that hip hop can be really anything as long as you're like speaking your truth. And I gravitated towards that. And hip hop was the thing I could do on my own. I didn't need a band, I didn't need anybody else. And I, it was my outlet. Um, too many influences to name, basically, long and short, yeah. So I just put a record out a few months ago called Like Water for Hangovers, uh, which, you know, a lot of the popular rap today is really fueled by, I mean, I hate to say it, like that whole druggy thing, that, that Xanax, that lean, that whole vibe. And, and a lot of these cats, I mean, I mean it's, it's not my bag, but I wanted to put out like a pure boom bap fire record that was just kind of like punch people in the mouth with the lyrics and, and the beats and hard hitting stuff. And it, it was the water for that, for that hangover from the, you know, the partying and the lean and, and all that. So like water for hangovers. I got a few visuals out for that right now. The newest one is called Brand New Bag. So definitely check out the Brand New Bag video. I got a remix project coming uh, pretty soon, I would say in the next couple months. Uh, and then I'm working on two albums right now. Uh, I got like 25 songs done for the one. We're gonna get to 40 or 50 and pick the best 10 or 12. Uh, and that should be out like early fall. That's gonna, I, every artist says this, but that's gonna be my best work ever. I'm, I'm really excited about that. Uh, at MC Bravado, I, uh, I don't get cute with, uh, <laughs> with my branding. I'm not that cool yet. So everything is MC Bravado, which is MC, B-R-A-V-A-D-O, wherever you want to look. Dot com, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, get at me.